Hi, I'm Walt with West Palm Valley, and today with Kobe, we're working on watch and sit. So this is where I take a piece of food and I put it right in front of her nose, <clears throat> and then bring it up to the side of my face as I say her name. <clears throat> like so, Kobe, uh, I wait. <clears throat> yes, as soon as she makes eye contact, I say the word yes, and she gets the treat. Kobe, yes. Kobe, yes. So what I'm doing is I'm teaching her that specifically this is what she needs to do when she hears her name, not generally acknowledge me. I want her to make eye contact. This is important because if a dog is making eye contact, they're far more likely to follow any kind of command that is followed. Ready? Kobe, yes. Kobe, yes. And also what we're doing is I'm teaching the word yes. That means that a treat is coming. And it's also the beginning of our treats are our command sequence. So I'll say this, Kobe said yes. I want to be consistent with that. Say her name, give the command, and then yes when performed correctly. Kobe said yes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building a stay into this sit. So you see how I'm feeding her multiple times. This is to encourage the static behavior, not moving. Good, I'm gonna tell her stay, stay, and then continue to treat her. Then I'm gonna tap her on the head and say, release. Now she can get up and move around if she so desires. If she continues to stay, stay seated, she'll continue to get treats. This is how I get a dog to start wanting to be still. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a treat. Kobe, sit. Yes, stay. Yes. I want there to be an inherent stay. I don't want her to understand that when I say sit, I also mean stay. But with that comes responsibility. Really, whenever I tell a dog sit and stay, they're essentially required to not move until I release them. So that means I have the responsibility of choosing when they, get, they can move. If I leave that option up to them, that's not really a stay. So it's up to me to determine when that's going to be, follow through, and if she gets up early, put her back to where she's supposed to be. So, Kobe, sit. I'm patient. I'm going to wait. Give her time to think about what I just said. Think, my girl. I believe in you. issue it. Kobe. Oh, I don't have her attention. Sit. Patience. You can do it. Yes, there it is. What a good girl. That's so good. So by giving her time to think about what I said, that's where she actually learns. I don't want to issue the I don't want to say the command and then immediately give her the answer. I want her to think about that because in that moment of thought, in that moment of struggle, that's when she actually starts to pay attention to what I'm saying and not just waiting for what I do. God, that was excellent, Kobe. What a good girl.